I guess this is a place. Pretty big out here. Pretty nice. All right, Brian. Hey, what's how up? <laughs> how you doing? All righty. Nice little drive out here. Oh yeah. You've got one big spot. Until you start putting stuff in it, but it ain't big enough. Well, yeah, it can, you can always have more room. Well, my paint booth. I got cars in there too. Oh, back there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I thought that was just a wall. No, no, no that's my paint room. Okay, we gotta check that out. Well, let's start there. There you go back here. Mm-hmm. Okay. And there's a car I'm used to seeing. Mm-hmm. Oh, Coder back here. That's my baby, Miss Judy. <laughs> and uh, what year and type of car is that? 55 Mercury Montclair on air yeah she's she's a dream boat named it after aunt judy uncle bob's old car Piece very nice family very nice how long has this one been done uh well they've owned it 40 years and it's been done for about 20. wow gonna get some fresh paint this year same color that looks fresh enough yeah it's not. Got to do my little things to it. Some ghost stuff on it. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got yeah. interior. Yeah, custom interior. Check that out. I like the chrome on the door panels. Kind of reminds me of like an old um, diner. Yeah, they don't make them like this no more. Heck that's for sure. Heck no. Heck no. Air ride back here in the trunk. Mm -hmm. Now you got your show chairs and stuff back here. That's a driver's trunk. <laughs> we drive it everywhere. <laughs> Very nice. Yep, she's used, she's loved, she's drove daily. Can't beat that. No, nah, not at all. Nice paint booth. Yeah, that's where magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> the heater's working good. Oh, yeah. I, I like the heat. I'm not a cold person. So what are we working on here? and What are we going to uh, do to it? 48 Chevy uh, Fleet Line. I really don't know. I just got it yesterday. I know I'm going to have to bring it down about probably 10 inches. Oh yeah. In the rear, but you know, other than that, I, I have no clue. It'll grow on me. Mm -hmm. You never know. Sometimes ideas just kind of happen. You got to talk to them for a while. <laughs> got to rub them, you know. They'll, they'll let, tell you. Yeah, they'll let you know what they want. We got some art stuff going on over here. Yes, this is Michelle. She airbrushes and pinstripes and all of that. I couldn't do that. I've got no drawing or painting talent. Mm -hmm. We have fun doing it. Well, I bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff on the walls. Yeah, a lot of car history. <clears throat> and is that your official name to the shop or is that just- It's Pap's Rod Shop. One of my buddies got me that a couple years ago. I get people, you know, stop by all the time and bring me pictures and stuff that they've painted for me. And you know, so. 
Very I like nice. visual stuff. I like stuff to look at. Mm -hmm. Makes it look like a shop because mm -hmm. it is. Oh yeah, true blue. What about this? Is this a customer's car? No, I do not do customer work. Oh, you don't? No, I buy, build, and sell strictly. No customer work at all, you know. This is a 51 Mercury. You know, it's going to go full custom, chop top, Packard lights, you know, the whole, the whole nine traditional. Yeah, it's a lot easier to go to work when you when you're building something you want to than to build something for somebody else. Right. A lot of times they're never satisfied anyway. Well, I mean, there's thousands of people who'd buy it compared to one person you got to please. Yep. Yeah, but they start at rock bottom. <laughs> Got your car show stuff there. Yeah, these are all auctions and for the, for the charity auction at the car show and all of them's raffles. Never a dull moment. And what's this little guy? This is uh, made for the charity auction. It's the Monsters Coach made out of the uh, radio flyer wagons and some sheet metal. <laughs> Um, we're going to auction it off at the car show and all proceeds, you know, it's going to somebody in the community. Some little kid's going to love it. Yes, yes. We've, we've built a bunch of them, man, all my buddies. You know, different ones. It's never the same thing. But the monstrous coach around Halloween, how fitting. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Well, what else we got to look at here? Thirty-three five window. That's a unicorn. That's the next one coming out. This we're going to start building it this winter. Or what kind of engine is going to be in that? I'm doing a traditional flathead V8. You know, fenders unchopped, white walls. You know, bias tires, spoke wheels. It's a rumble seat car. So I'm going to do you know a traditional straight rod. You know, like a 60s build. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it's kind of like a California kid or like a American gra Graffiti. No, no, no. American Graffiti is a 32. That's a 33, you know. Uh, big difference in, in the cars, you know, like grills and fenders and stuff like that, frames. Huh. But no, I I wanted, you know, black like a guy. I wanted to like where they build it, like, you know, 40s, you know, something like that, you know, that they used to race when they was, when people was kid, when it first started coming about, mm -hmm. you know, that's hmm. the best okay. way to go is the flatty. I got a bone up on my uh, older cars. Oh, yeah, that's a, yeah, well, I mean, American Graffiti car, when I was a kid, I liked the Pharaoh's car. I didn't really care about the 32 Coupe or the 55. I liked the Pharaoh's car, the Mercury, mm -hmm. you know, that was that was my thing when I was a kid, you know, old sleds. I'm gonna have to watch that movie again. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Ferris had a chop 51 Mercury, uh -huh. 49 51, something like that. Well, I guess the main thing we came for was this beauty right here. Yes, El Corazon. And this is what type of car? It's a 1940 Chevy business coupe. Now, would this be the type of car that maybe gangsters would have, or is that a little before mm. them? No, I mean, it, most of gangsters was 30s. I mean, oh, I'm way off. You know, <laughs> a little bit in the 40s, but not too much. More moonshine, mm -hmm. you know, per se. Yeah, but it's all low rider bomb style. Very nice. And how long did it take you to build this one? Uh, about four months. That's it? Yeah, I mean, it was a shell. No floors, no rear end. I mean, it... Man. I remember seeing, I think it was just the roof in the wintertime. And I thought, that'd be a cool car to do a, a little shop stop on, a little profile on. And then all of a sudden, you, well, you've got it done. But we went through the whole summer, so... But mm -hmm. I guess you got it done a few months ago. Well, I waited a month on the interior. Oh, okay. And then, you know, the back pedal makes sure everything's right. Well, 
Well, I mean, he uh, turned out turned out phenomenal. Nice piece. And what type of engines in it? It's a 350 700R. You know, it's got heights front end, coil levers, rack and pinion, power steering, heat, uh, wild wood brakes, four link airbags in the back. I mean, it's it's got all the all the bells and whistles. That's a interesting back window. Yeah, the back window, it's out of a 39 Lincoln Zephyr. Uh, Chevrolet had to, had to oval in it and tail lights are out of a 39 Lincoln Zephyr. Yeah, I love, a lot of people never know. It. <laughs> Looks like it's made for it. Well, it's different. I like I like the split window. I mean, it matches the windshield, mm -hmm. I and mean, both side, both of the, the back glasses look just like the side glasses. Yep. I love the roof. Hey, I know this. This looks like a uh, yeah, <laughs> carp. Yep. Or good old fish scales, or tarpon, mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, a carp or koi. Koi's are cooler. Yeah. They're cool carps. There's a Japanese carp, I think. Yeah. The car is called El Corazon. That means the heart. And the clock's on it represents you got a limited time with your heart. So enjoy the time you got. Working on this car, you know, it was actually a gas to do. I mean, I had, I had a lot of fun, a lot of stress relief. I'll bet. Um, so uh, this one's for sale, huh? Yep. Yep, it's for sale. 35K. 35K. Predominantly 100% brand new, everything. Motor, training, you name it, it's, it's new. All new seals, glass, all that. Hmm. It's a very good job. Are you sad when you uh, finally have to let them go and they go no, out no, the uh, no. driveway? <laughs> See, the thing is, I don't care to really drive them. I may, I get mine when I see someone else enjoying something that I did. Because I'm, I'm already, you know, like as soon as I finished it, I started stuff for my 33 and on my Mercury. My fun is in the build, not driving it. Hmm. You know, I'd prefer to see someone at a light smiling with their family, you know, and something my build than me sitting at the light looking at other cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. It's therapy. <laughs> I mean, it is. You know, everybody goes through change of life and that, and you do something you enjoy. That's spiritual therapy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice. And that's what they are. Every one of them. I try to do every one a different style scheme, all that. You know, this. You know, it was going to be a custom when I started, and then it's like, hey, there's no lowrider bombs on the East Coast. Let's do one. Well, hopefully, somebody buys it on the East Coast, but. You never know. Yeah, I've had a lot of interest from the West Coast. I bet. You wouldn't believe how many Impalas I've looked at. Oh, they want to trade or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. everybody wants to trade. Yeah, I, I, if I'm going to do that, I'll keep it. You know what I mean? I'll drive it. It ain't never been at a car show yet. Yeah. Well, winter time's coming, so I guess if it doesn't sell by the indoor car shows, you can stick in one of those. Yeah, I'm not even worried about car shows. I no. mean, <laughs> you just want I, I like out, I like outdoor shows because, you know, I can breathe, you know, see all my friends and, you know, it just, it's a whole different atmosphere, oh, you yeah. know, when it's outside and sun shining on you. Mm -hmm. In the winter, you want to stay in the garage and not leave. <laughs> By spring, you got a new project done. Right. What about this uh, air conditioner? Yeah, it's a swamp cooler. A what? A swamp cooler. Swamp cooler. What it does, you put dry ice in here, water, and when the wind blows through there, it comes through the pocket and blows in the window. Hmm. Interesting. 
So one person gets real cool, the other person's still like waiting for the cool to right. hit you. Right. <laughs> And that was the modern day AC of the time. Mm-hmm. Hey, it beats nothing. Hey, I like 255 AC. Yeah. That's, two windows down, 55 miles an hour. That's what I got <laughs> on my that's 2010. <laughs> How about the interior? Let's talk about that stuff. Mm-hmm. This would have been cool if you had like a, one of those old time mics as your shifter uh, shifter knob. Oh yeah. That. Yeah, to go with that uh, grill there. Mm -hmm. That'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, it does kind of resemble that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gas tank, not an air tank. No, all the air ride is hidden underneath the floor. Okay. And it's, it's the way I did it. Like you could take off four nuts and the whole unit will come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 350. I mean, it, it's a running little, little monster. <laughs> that El Corazon on the valve covers and the Mexican calendar and the breather. Is it uh, loud? No. A little bit, I mean, it's a little choppy, but I mean, it's... Would you care to start it? If, if I got gas in it. <laughs> Just for a minute. I got the battery back here. All right, Brian, thank you so much for letting me take a look at your shop and this wonderful car that is for sale. Until next time, I will catch you later. All right, top water tone. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. You left me stranded, looking like a fool. All oh, those nights alone. Try, try.